We're going to bring in Ed Renzi right now, former McDonald's USA CEO, former Famous Dave CEO. Ed, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. What's your take on the FBI clearing Hillary Clinton again? Well, my father was a police officer, and he had such great respect for the FBI. And they've been sucked into the cesspool of politics. And Hillary Clinton's lack of ethics or moral center is just coming out more and more and more every day. And Trump is right. We've got to take control. The politicians in this country no longer respond to or respect the average citizen. Our way of life, our freedoms, and our liberties are in great danger because of the way these people are behaving. And I hope everybody goes out and votes for Trump because we need somebody that's not an insider. We need to change the narrative of this country going forward. You know, you're right. I mean, Jim Comey comes out last week. He basically, I guess, tipped the scales a bit when he said we have to reopen the investigation. And now he comes out again and he tips the scales the other way. Why wasn't there a special prosecutor brought in or a grand jury brought in? Because the, the system, is, it's, Trump says, is rigged to entrench the ruling class in this country today. And Comey should have kept his mouth shut and been a great investigator and laid the truth out to a grand jury and let them decide. The citizens of this country should decide, not a bunch of political hacks in Washington, D.C. Ed, Ed, it's Anthony. Do you think it's always been this way? It's just that now with social media and things like WikiLeaks, we're exposing what actually is going on? Or do you think that something systemically has changed this time? I think in the last 30 to 40 years in this country, we have not done a good job of ed educating our young people to be critical thinkers. And they look at a six-letter word on the Internet or texting or whatever the hell they're doing, and they believe it's true. And you've you got to be a critical thinker. And we're not being critical thinkers. We're not developing people that have the intelligence to understand history and the impact for the future. And I fear for our country right now. I think our civil liberties are at risk. And, and I just don't think Hillary Clinton gives a darn about anything except power mm -hmm. and her own self. Um, sir, this is Morgan. Good morning. If Hillary Clinton were to win on Tuesday, and, and let's just say for sake of argument that the Republicans were able to keep the Senate and we have the Senate in the House, what do you want to see a Republican-controlled Congress do in that situation? Because you sound very uh, apocalyptic about a Hillary Clinton presidency. So what do you think the Republicans could do to counter her if she were to be victorious on Tuesday? Well, they better get a backbone and start standing up for what's right and wrong. I hear people say Trump is not equipped to be president. Well, he's a lot more equipped to be president than Barack Obama was when he got elected. He never held a job in his life. He never created one thing. He never started a company. He never really had a job where he had to produce profit and develop people. So Trump is eminently more qualified to be president because he's built things. He's managed people. Is he always right? No. Is he politically correct? Absolutely not. But we need somebody that's not an insider to change the direction and the narrative in this country. And I think Trump can do it. So you wonder, you wonder if people will be swayed by this latest development out of Jim Comey or if they continue to feel that we need a shakeup, like you're saying. Well, the thing that scares me is there's been so much early voting that late developing issues or opportunities yeah. for knowledge or insight are gone. I, you know, I voted two weeks ago because I had to come down here to Florida, and I've been talking to people in Florida everywhere I go. What are you doing? What do you think? How do you think it's going? And I'll tell you, I've never seen a population so polarized in my life that absolutely are on pins and needles about what the future of this country is going to look like. Wow. And we have been, the politicians are manipulating the citizens of this country way past what's intelligent. Well, Ed, that, is, that polarization isn't going to go away after Tuesday. So what does that mean in terms of just doing business in this country? Let's start doing what's right. Let's start getting our moral center back. Let's start trying to grow the country in a way it should be grown. We desperately need jobs. We need refinement and, and improvement in our school systems. We need the African-American community needs charter schools where they can pick the best schools for their children. And it ought to be paid for and subsidized by the public education system. Yeah. But you, the unions are so entrenched, they won't let it happen. Well, do you think you heard enough about that very thing from Donald Trump on the campaign trail? Uh, you know, I, I don't look at what words he says so much as his attitude, his belief, and his vigor for the future of this country. When he says make America great again, 
He's going to do that. One way or another, he's going to get it done. And if we have control of the Senate and the House, I think we have a greater opportunity than we would with a divided House. Yeah,